Hey everybody, hey thanks for joining me here on YouTube every Thursday 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock Eastern Time. I'm Phil Jost, the Art of Reading Spoken Phil Jost. That's me, let's get started. Hey, i got a short clip this week. Um, this episode I think we're, you know, 73 or something like that, but um, the Art of Reading Spoke. We're going we're gonna to be looking at uh, this video by HMA Fire. I, I really do like their logo here. Uh, let me just play it again just because it's kind of fun. I like the way the fire goes past it and they come out clean on the other side. All right, so HMA Fire, this is from their website. So if you want to go take a look at that, there's obviously a link in the show notes. And I, I just can't say enough how grateful I am that people have these videos posted and I'm using them to do the reading smoke and always give them credit, right? Uh, I always want to give people credit for their work. So, okay, so we're always starting the reading smoke process by looking at volume, velocity, density, color. Right, we take a full inventory of volume, velocity, density, color, or DVDC. We apply that to the box, both the fire box, the room or rooms that the fire's in, and the fire building. Right? We want to understand what's going on inside of there and take a complete inventory. So if we look at what we're going to look at here is this is this tells you everything you need to know about this room, right? This room is a non-survivable space. Uh, there's a massive amount of fire for a space this big and there's actually not that much volume from here. Why? Well, smoke is fuel, right? Smoke is fuel, and when you have a really good mix, uh, most of the fuel is getting consumed, and that's what's going on here. Huge BTU release rate, uh, a lot of fuels being mixed, and uh, um, you have a like right temperature, right mix, and so uh, the fuel's being consumed by the fire, and there's not that much left over. Um, I would suspect since this is an acquired structure and they're doing some burns here that, that there may not be a lot of petrochemicals, not a lot of plastic and stuff. Don't know that, right? So that's just my supposition, but they do have a nice clean mix. So we have a, we want a full inventory, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna look around. So let's look over where this window's missing. Again, I think they've probably done an evolution over there, but the window's missing and there's nothing coming out. And then we're gonna look at this window and we're gonna look at both in this case, we want to look at the window itself. What's the condition of the window? Is it clear? Is it sweating? Does it have black soot on the inside? Um, is there, and or is there smoke pushed out around the cracks and seams and edges of the window itself? Uh, we want to look at that VVDC. And obviously we'd want to get some sort of a 270 or 360, get a look at a little more of this building if we could. We're not going to because it's a video. I miss these. <coughs> Whew. All right, forgive me. Now, if I was a pro, I'd edit that out, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, I think everybody sneezes. Um, anyway, so nothing. So just look here. I'm going to give you a couple of chances, but look here, look here, and see what's going on. Uh, pretty good wind blowing, looks like, right? Pretty good wind blowing, so they're definitely getting a, uh, really nothing here, nothing here. Let's go back, just take another look before they hit it. And uh, so really nothing. So what's that, what's that telling us, right? We've got a really good wind blowing in here. This is a bi-directional flow, but very high. Lots of air going in here. This is besides 100% exhaust because of the wind, right? Um, and so with no smoke in either of these spaces, uh, it tells you there's a couple of opportunities here. One is if, if the door to this room is closed, then you would not see smoke coming out of these other spaces, right? If the door of the room, this room was open, uh, but this space and this space, the, the windows, the doors to these are closed, so open door but closed door, uh, you're also not gonna get any smoke over there. When you would, uh, or not any, right? You're not gonna get a lot, you're not gonna get enough to have it be coming out of the cracks and seams around the window, right? Uh, but bi-directional flow way up high here still enough pressure here to come out against the wind right enough pressure to come out against the wind and uh we'll give it another go we'll go right through this time right through when they make their fire attack and so we're looking at they're going to do a transitional here right so they're going to get started and here we go i'm going to stop it just as they get going here Sort of thought that was a little bit choppy. Okay, so they're just going to get started. So when you've opted to 
when you've selected to do a transitional attack, what are you looking for to understand if it's the most effective place to do it, right? So you're always going to convert the room, right? You put water in there, you're going to convert the room. Uh, but what we want to be looking for is, a, is um, what's going to happen is you may have a, initially you may have a, in, a slight increase, right? A little bit of increase in velocity as that initial uh, burst starts to turn to steam and you start increasing the amount of smoke that's coming out then uh, you're going to get a rapid increase in volume with the addition with the, the steam right so we, we can go back to sort of that 1700 times volume but the steam's going to get produced as those BTUs get absorbed so you're going to get uh, really a pretty significant increase in volume but that volume is going to be those billowing clouds of white clean pristine dissipating white maybe a little bit of dirtiness to it but the that billowing from the steam production but you're also going to have a rapid and sustained decrease in velocity right so let's keep an eye on what actually happens here right they hit it now they're moving a little bit and they're climbing up to there. I'm actually going to go back just to see if we can get a little bit smoother video. There we go. Hopefully it's not too crazy as, uh, as far as it glitching, but it is glitching a little now. Um, and then they're going to add more water, and uh, we're going to see, like I said, we're going to see some billowing, right? Some billowing here, but clean, pristine, dissipating white. Touch dirty, but mostly clean, pristine, dissipating white and uh, no return of velocity and density um, no return of velocity and density that's what we're looking to see so let's take it back see we have one more look oh they already hit it let me go i was wanting to go back there we go here we go quick hit right he's going to convert the room we're going to get pretty significant increase in um volume here right when he hits it here there's gonna you're gonna see a lot of a billowing coming out of this window obviously because of right because of the way the winds running um, a lot of it there a lot of it clean pristine dissipating mostly clean pristine dissipating white you get up on the roof and recognize no return of velocity and density and that's the big key rapid and sustained decrease in velocity and density I mean look how thin that smoke is coming out of there now and um, really good conversion right really good conversion okay so uh, this this whole series we're doing on transitional right is to is to get to understand not whether or not you do transitional we're not talking about that decision although there's definitely pieces of it but once you've decided and you're applying that water what do you need to see what you need to see uh, if we look at volume velocity density color right you're going to see an increase in volume because of the steam conversion but it's going to be billowing clouds right billowing clouds of clean pristine dissipating mostly white smoke right very very light gray right that's going to you're always going to convert the room and then you should see a rapid and sustained decrease in both velocity and density right and that color change so you're recognize that you're always going to get the color change even if there's a lot of velocity and density behind it which isn't the case here but it has been in some of the other videos uh, you're going to get that color change it's just going to not be as clean right it's not going to be as white and it's not going to be dissipating as much when it comes out right so a rapid and sustained decrease in velocity and density which is what we have here indicates that you've got it in the right room and you have an effective fire attack all right once again thanks to hma fire thanks to you for being here and enjoying my channel uh, hit like hit subscribe uh, tell your friends and neighbors all this content's here uh, for you to use and for you to learn from and i really do appreciate the opportunity uh, to keep doing this and uh, we'll see you next week uh, for reading smoke with phil jose i'm phil jose and i'm out